Just kind of put your head against okay. the wall this way. You might want to... Yeah, there you go. You're good. You're good. Okay. All right. So your job is... Um, well, let's see. Let me show you my job first. So right here at the sacrum, mm -hmm. um, helper just puts their hand flat, not cupping, but flat. So this part of the hand, just barely, it's the weight of a dime, so just enough to touch. Mm -hmm. And then the bottom hand is going underneath the belly to just touch right here. And you're not really lifting, you're just holding. And both people are supposed to be barefoot. Um, to be more grounded with the earth. <laughs> and, um, and so as your helper gets their hands into position, then your job becomes to just kind of think about any stresses that are coming up for you, think about any fears, and you're just kind of releasing. You don't necessarily need to focus on stress or focus on fears. You're focusing on release. And for me personally, I find the most release when I focus on acceptance rather than trying to change my circumstances. I want this baby to come now. I can't have this baby come now. I'm not ready. I can't do this. I don't know how we're ever going to do this. Or, you know, like the car is broken down or whatever and I need to fix that. It's just like, I'm just going to accept things as they are. And that for me personally helps me to get grounded the most quickly as opposed to let me think about this worry and then just let it go and not think about it anymore. I just try to breathe in. I call it finding my yes. Yes, to exactly how things are right now, meaning I'm not trying to influence or control or mess with stuff to make it the way that I think it needs to be. So some things that can help you to do that are your breath. So um, if you do yoga, it's the same sort of thing. You're using your yoga breath. In particular, focusing on your exhales. That will release a lot of tension. It can also help to just kind of sway a little bit. It's another thing that can help things that are being held tight to be released and doing that in our bodies with our muscles is a way that that can be reflected for us emotionally or mentally. So with just a little bit of pressure and then you just think about whatever feels right to think about setting an intention, let it go and you feel it move the way that feels intuitively right. So you might do little circles, you might do figure eights, you might just go back and forth, you might not move at all and just focus on your breath. This is really a time to not be self-conscious, to really just let go of all of that and go with the flow and do what feels right. Um, and yeah, release, accept, ground, whatever verbs feel the most resonant with you.